Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be setting up the game timer at the top of the player's screen. So if you take a look at the HUD reference image which I've got on the screen at the moment, you can see in the top center there is a game timer that is going to tell the player exactly how long they have survived for. So having said that, we're going to be setting up a variable for minutes and seconds and also writing some blueprint code which is going to be creating that timer, telling the engine how far into that match the player is. We're also going to be getting this displayed on the screen so we're going to be doing a little bit of UI work and importing the image that is shown behind it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set up the code which is going to be running this timer and we're going to be setting this up in a really efficient way. Open up your third person game mode. Within here we want to open the full blueprint editor. Now the reason why I've chosen the game mode is because this kind of information is related to the game mode rather than the character so it's best to keep it separated so we can easily access it later on. So within this game mode what we're going to be doing is going to our variables tab in the bottom left and creating two variables. The first one is going to be called minutes and then the variable type for this is going to be an integer. Being that it's an integer it's going to be a numerical, of, numerical value so we can set up this timer. Default value should be zero. Go ahead and do the same thing and this time you want to call your variable seconds. Once again, we're giving this the variable type integer and the default value 0. The reason for me giving it the default value 0 on both of these is at the very start of the match you don't want there to be any, any minutes or any seconds, you're going to be starting off from the 0 mark. So what we need to do now then is write a little bit of code which is going to be getting all of this to work. The way that we're going to be doing this is every second we're going to be increasing the seconds value and then after that we're going to be running a check to see whether or not seconds has gone over 59 and then if it has we're going to tell the game engine to increase the minutes and set the seconds back down to zero and that's essentially our game timer setup. The way that we're going to be executing all of this is within a function and this function is just going to be looped every single second and the way we're going to do this is by creating an event begin play node and then from this we are going to be doing set function uh, sorry set timer by function name and we're going to be hooking up our function in there the time needs to be one second because we want it to do it every single second set it to loop so it's going to keep on doing this every single second and all we need to do now is just set up a function to go in here. So what I'm going to do is go to functions and we're going to give this the name timer function, just like that. Going back into our event graph, what I'm going to do is type in that exact same spelling into our set timer by function name. So timer function, just like that. And then if you double click on your timer function to open it up, we can start working on the code that's going to make all of this possible. So the first thing we need to do, like I said, every single second or every single time that this function is fired off, we want to add one to the seconds. So what you want to do is increment integer. And all this is going to do is essentially add one to the specified value and then set it. So with this, get your seconds value, just drag out from the variables and hook it up into your in input over here. And then from the output, what we're going to be doing is simply running a check, a branch check, to see whether or not an integer has gone above 59. The integer in question is going to be the result of this increment integer. So hook this into your A and then your B needs to be 59. So if your seconds have gone above 59, what you want to do is then add a minute. So we're going to do increment integer again, but this time we're going to be getting the minutes value. 
And then with this minutes value, what we're going to be doing is after you've added to that, all we're going to be doing is setting our seconds back down to zero. And that's essentially all of our code for our timer variables. What we need to think about now is how we're going to get these displayed on the screen in our heads up display. So what we're going to do is close that and open up our HUD widget. Our HUD widget is within Mech Combat, Blueprints, and then HUD widget down here. So what we're going to do first and foremost is there is a background image behind our timer. And this, if we search for it, so add your image, drag it in, and then under appearance and brush, set this to timer. And then all we're going to do is just drag it into place and then put this at the center of our screen, top center, and just line it up just like that. And this should be perfectly centered. Don't be afraid to get in there and get really close up to make sure it's right. So what we need to do now is put those text values for minutes and seconds on the screen. So add in one piece of text, which is going to be for your minutes, another piece of text, which is going to be for the little dots between, and then another piece of text, which is going to be for your seconds. With the first one, anchor it to the top, set your default text to zero, zero, and then just scale it nice and small. With the middle one, anchor it to the top center again, and this time we're just going to do the two little dots and scale it. And then for the third one, which is our seconds, zero, zero is it's a numerical value and anchor it to the top center and then just scale it. So what we're going to do is just tidy this up and place it in. So minutes on the left, two dots in the middle, just down there. And then lastly, our seconds. So at the moment, these are only going to stay at zero. We need to link them to the minutes and seconds values. So with your minutes, go to your content, go to your text, and you want to create a binding. With this, what you're going to be doing is dragging out and casting to the third person game mode, as the third person game mode contains your value for minutes. As third person game mode, get minutes. And then with that, just hook it up to your return value. And this is now going to dynamically update that text and make sure it's always equal to our minutes variable. Our object wildcard needs to be get game mode. Hit compile. And then all we need to do is just go through and do the same thing on our seconds. So create a binding get yourself in space and then just cast to the third person game mode again. This time as game mode, get our seconds and hook it up to our return value. For our object wildcard, get game mode. And then if we go ahead and hit compile, hit play and take a look at our screen, you can see we've got our timer at the top. However, at the moment it doesn't look too clean as it's only showing one integral digit at a time. So it's showing zero and then whatever it's equal to. So you might not understand exactly what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is go in and make that change and you'll see how much better it looks afterwards. Open up your HUD widgets and then open up your function for our get text zero. This is just for the function for getting our minutes. Where we're converting it to text from an integer, expand that. And what you want to do is set your minimum integral digits to two. And then if you go ahead and do the same thing over on get text one, which is for our seconds, set your minimum integral digits on that to two. And what you'll notice if you go ahead and hit compile and then hit play, you are going to notice it looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot more like a normal timer would do. So all we need to do now then is just make sure that our timer is working. And the only way that you're going to be able to do this is if you just wait it out and let it get to the point where it gets to 60 seconds. And then what it should do, like we've told it to in our code, it should simply add one to the minutes 
and then just set your seconds back down to zero. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now we should be able to see if it works. It goes to 59 and then it goes directly to one minute. So you can see that our timer is working. We are all good to go. And as such, that is everything for this video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.